Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to learn how to choose the right product for your e-commerce business. Now, in the last video, we talked about how to choose a niche and how to solve a problem and get paid solving this problem. So the first thing to consider in choosing a product is what is the size of this problem? So this problem you are going to solve, how many people are involved? I'll take example, clothes or shoe size. You know, we have the people, the plus size ladies and men who are unable to find their clothes sizes, their shoe sizes. And then on the other hand, a health issue, we have the constipation. Now, you might seem, it might seem like everyone has the problem of constipation, but there's a problem with that. It has a lot of solutions, a lot of alternatives. So while it is a good thing to sell, a good thing to find a problem for, it is not very much profitable like when you are selling a plus size because plus size people, sometimes they don't care if they like that thing or not. They just want to buy it because it's, it fits them, all right? Now, you have to check if it has a lot of alternatives. The next thing to check is, is this product you want to sell for a particular problem, can it be purchased in multiples? Okay, now, back to the constipation issue. If one gets a constipation solution, probably a medicine for the constipation, he may not want to buy two, three, or four pieces of your, your product, right? Because one should, you know, get the job done. But when you get variety of plus size beautiful shoes the buyer your customer might even buy five pairs ten pairs depending and that gives you a lesser cost for advertising because one advert gets you multiple sales so another thing to check is do you have constant supply of this product you want to you want to sell all right, so you don't want to run a very powerful advert, get people interested, they place order, and then your supplier says, oh, I'm sorry, but it's out of stock. And there are no other suppliers who can give it to you. All right, another thing is size matters. So you don't want to be selling a house. There are many buyers for houses, but how do you get it shipped? How do you get this item delivered? So the smaller the package, the better, all right? The smaller, the better, so that you can use delivery bikes to run your delivery without having to deal with bulky sized products. Another thing is you are in this business for profit. So I'm gonna give an example in US dollars. Imagine you purchase a product for $50 and then the maximum you can sell it is maybe $70 now remove your cost of advertising, your cost of delivery. You are already struggling to, you know, to break even, to get some profit. But imagine the product is maybe $10. I can easily sell it for maybe $35. Now the extra $25 can you know, settle your advert cost, your delivery cost, and what have you. And the beautiful thing is that the lesser the price, the more the number of people who can afford this product? And then you make more money, right? High tickets, low tickets, all of them are good, but there is always a strategy to these things. Now make sure that these solutions are not illegal or contraband. No matter the problem you want to solve, make sure the, your product will not be facing restriction by, by law enforcement bodies, government bodies, unless you want to deal with illegality and struggling to deliver these items. So I hope this video has been able to give you uh, a clear idea on how to choose a very good product. So I will see you in the next video where we talk about actually how to start selling these products. My name is John Bosco Ife. Save this video, please. I beg you, save this video like this video follow me and share this video you might be helping somebody or the person that might watch this video when you share it might give me 
a bright idea that I will use to create more videos that will help you. It's a win-win situation. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.